right guys, let's do my nighttime face care routine, Chemistry Academy style. Over the years that I've found things like cleansing butters or cleansing oils are better for my skin than like regular face wash. Other than on my T-zone, my skin's quite dry, so I find that oil-based cleansers are better and don't dry my skin out. I used to wonder how can an oil actually clean my skin, but then when I learned chemistry, I realised it's because of like dissolves like. By rubbing an oil onto your face, it'll re-dissolve any other oils that are sat on the surface so you can then go and wash them off. The essential oils in my cleansing butter are very volatile, meaning they evaporate easily, so I just put a warm face cloth over my face for a wee while and just breathe in all the lovely aromas. Then I go and wipe off all of the oily butter with any of dissolved oils in it and leaving a clean face. I then put on a serum that's got hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is really popular in cosmetic products for hydration because it can pull water from the atmosphere into your skin, helping to hydrate your skin. The reason for this is that hyaluronic acid contains lots of polar hydroxyl groups that can form hydrogen bonding with water molecules. This means that the hyaluronic acid molecules can hold water molecules in your skin. Once you've put moisture into your skin, the best way to keep it there is by putting on a layer of oil because the oil traps the water into your skin. I recently started using castor oil on my skin because I had a look into it after seeing a lot of people talk about it on the internet and it's actually an oil with a hydroxyl group on it which means that it is slightly polar as well as being slightly non-polar. This means it's slightly different to other oils and can actually penetrate a bit deeper into your skin barrier while also potentially holding water into your skin via hydrogen bonding. This is some pure organic castor oil here in this bottle and you can see it's quite viscous, meaning that it doesn't flow easily. The more viscous a liquid is, the stronger the bonds between its molecules are. And I finish off with this night cream which is a bit thicker than a day cream, probably because it's got fats and oils that have higher melting points in it, so are more like a solid at room temperature. It's also got chamomile in it which is good for calming the skin and more hyaluronic acid for extra hydration. And that's my nighttime skincare routine. Bye!